Before we head into the video, I'd love to give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel, RL Exchange. Now, RL Exchange is the best way to buy any item and credits on any platform and at the cheapest prices so that you can build your dream setup. They have 24 7 active support and the fastest delivery around, so make sure to go and check them out using the link in the description down below and use code TXC to get yourself 3% off your order. I'm going to be giving away a Titanium White Octane every 1,000 subscribers on the channel. If you would like to enter, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, turn post notifications on, drop a like on the video, and then finally head over to the Discord server. The link is in the description down below. And then head over to the giveaways channel and just click join. You will need to be level 1, but you can do that by typing like 10 times. It's really easy. Good luck to everyone that enters. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video. In episode 41 of Trading from Nothing all the way up to the Alpha Cap, I just want to quickly say thank you for the insane support on the channel recently and we are trying to hit 20k by the end of the year so please do subscribe if you haven't already because only like 15% of you are actually subscribed that are watching this video which is crazy if everyone subscribes right now we could hit 20k literally on this video but anyway I'm not going to waffle on for any longer and let's get into the first trade of episode 41 Okay, so hopping into the first trade of the video. Now, we're going to be selling on our Crimson Octane just because the White Octane is going to be coming to the item shop on the 24th of December. And if you haven't already seen the White Octane, oh my days, it's gone from 15k to 5k on Xbox. And obviously, the other Octanes are, mo are most likely going to follow this. And also, they're going to be harder to sell because people aren't looking to buy Octanes, especially when the White One's coming to the item shop. And also, the credit demand is going to be so high right now because when the, uh, when the White Octane does come to the shop people are going to buy it instantly um, so they're just going to want to have credits on hold for the white octane as soon as it comes to the item shop and um yeah, the inventory is looking pretty solid. It's around 94,500 credits right now. We still have a ton of hard-to-sell items in the inventory. Uh, it's good that we're getting rid of this white atomizer because it is one of those hard-to-sell items. The grey dominus is also going to be hard to sell. The black OEMs I found have been really, really hard to sell. So hopefully I can get those sold uh, pretty soon as well. And then we've also got the white stride tie, which again is going to be pretty hard to sell. The black hero is a lot harder to sell than what I thought it would be. Again, I'm going to be trying to get that sold pretty quickly as well because right now I am I'm struggling quite a lot with it and um this trade we are going to be picking up a forest green tune as well as a score of fennec the fennec can sell on for 400 credits and then the tune is valued at 500 minimum value so we're going to be trying to get that 500 credits and when we do um we'll be getting uh, 900 credits for both of those items if we do sell them for the minimum value we pay 600 so an easy 300 credits profit if we do get both of those items sold again the tune is going to be pretty hard to sell but we do manage to sell on the pink interstellar which is really good again because it is going to be one of those hard to sell items so i'm just glad that i'm getting it gone and um i do believe by the end of this episode i still have a ton of hard to sell items but i think in the next one i'm just going to work on trying to get everything sold before the white octane comes to the shop so that i can just grind out buy a ton of items because people are going to be quick selling their uh, quick selling their items so that they can buy the white octane. So I'm going to be trying to get everything gone. I think real time my inventory is around 96,000 credits. I don't know if I made that much profit in this video. I was going more with the high demand items and just flipping them for maybe 100 credits profit each time. Such as this white fennec, we're going to be buying it for 1.7k and I think we're going to aim to sell it for 1.9k just because it dropped recently down to 1.8k minimum value. So we are still paying 100 credits below the minimum value here, which obviously is really good because I can just flip that instantly for the minimum value. But again, the white fennec has a really high demand so I am going to be aiming to get that mid value again We're going to be buying another black OEM which as I mentioned earlier They are very hard to sell so I don't actually know if this was a good idea But we do manage to uh, we do manage to underpay by 200 credits Which is good because if we do sell it for that 1.1 K we're getting 200 credits profit However, I now have three of them um, So it may be a little bit boring to sell those just because it's going to be very repetitive selling three hard to sell items where they're the same item so hopefully we do get those sold but we do also manage to sell on our forest green octane here i think i was selling both the fennec and the octane together i got a little bit confused but we do manage to sell on the octane now i only took the minimum value just because obviously the octane demand right now isn't looking too great with the white octane come to the shop i mentioned that loads of times so i'm just taking minimum value i'm still making profit because i did 
uh, initially buy it for 300 credits. So we're still getting 100 credits profit on that item. I was looking to get 150 credits profit, but I'm not going to lie, 50 credits is not going to make too much difference to the uh, to the inventory at this point when it's already worth 95,000 credits. Hopefully soon we can break that 100,000 credit mark just because I'm trying to get this series over as quickly as possible. I'm not going to stop nothing to something after I get the alpha cap. I just want to I just want to sort of do a new one and go for a much cheaper item because um, it's very repetitive right now and also we do manage to sell on that score of Fennec getting 400 credits it is going to be minimum value but again with the market being more dead than usual it's not that easy to sell items so I'll take the minimum value for that as well we get a really good trade here. I think uh, we end up either paying 700 or 750. Yeah, we pay 700 credits for the white standard, which right now is valued at 900 credits minimum value and also very easy to sell. I underpaid a little bit more than I usually would have just because it's recently dropped down to that 900 credits minimum value. This guy might have been scared that it would drop more. So we managed to underpay by a decent amount. We're going to be trying to sell that on for the 900 credits as well. Um, usually I try and get the mid value, but just because the market is more dead than usual and it's dropped recently. I'm just going to be going for that minimum value. We should be able to sell it on pretty quickly. And I do manage to buy uh, the Fennec here for 250 credits and a bunch of other items that you probably haven't seen before. They've always just been stuck in the archive, but none of them are really worth anything and I don't need any of them anyway. Um, so yeah, we managed to get all of that sold for the Fennec, which again, we can go on to sell for 400 credits. Not bad at all. And uh, yeah, that will basically be 150 credits profit. I wasn't really using any of those items. He just wanted some small ads. He basically just said add whatever and he'll accept so I had a quick look at my archive section and just chucked in a bunch of items that I was never going to use and we do manage to also buy a white interstellar for 1650 right now it's 1.9k minimum value underpaying by 250 credits and it's not even that hard to sell I know people do struggle with this item but personally I get it sold pretty quickly so we're going to be trying to get 1.9k no point going for the mid value because it is going to be a little bit hard to sell so yeah we'll just try and get 1.9k for that item that will be 250 credits profit we will also do manage to get 1.8k for this white fennec yes i was trying to get 1.9k but we still do get 100 credits profit from this trade either way so we're making a, a small amount of profit uh, but it is still profit and that is the main idea we're still progressing even though the market is a shambles right now so i'll definitely take that and yeah inventory is looking pretty solid obviously we still do have all of those black OEMs. We've also got the black hero, Grey Dominus. Uh, the tune is going to be hard to sell. I have had some people interested in the white stride tide. It's not just it's, it's just not been an offer that I would uh, accept. It's been maybe 200 credits below the minimum value or an item offer that I don't really want. But there is still some interest to the white stride tide, so I'm pretty confident I will also be able to get that sold. We do manage to also sell on the white standard 900 credits, which I did say probably the most profitable item this episode. Uh, we got 200 credits profit on the item and then we do manage to sell on the white interstellar as well we take 1840 and two non-crate imports which will sell for 30 each so 60 credits this offer adds up to 1.9k um this guy told me he didn't have 1.9k i don't know if i fully trusted it but either way we're getting rid of a pretty hard to sell item so i'll take that and then we'll try and get 30 each for the non-crate imports which really shouldn't take too long and uh yeah not too bad until we've still got uh, a bunch of items in the inventory which we will need to sell but i might be able to get those sold tonight after this episode goes up uh, i'm filming this uh, about an hour before it goes up so hopefully um, <laughs> hopefully everything goes well but anyway that is going to be the end of the episode i really hope you have enjoyed if you have please do make sure to drop a like subscribe and turn on post notifications as well we try and hit 20k by the end of the year so it would really help out the channel if you were to subscribe we're also going to be trying to hit 150 likes on this episode and uh, yeah the channel's been popping off recently the videos have been uh, the videos have been doing so well the views just keep on going up so thank you so much for the support but anyway that is going to be it from me thank you for watching to the end comment alpha cap if you did watch this far and i'll see you in the next one peace out